definitely i mean i was in india uh, uh, for all all this while and last year I, i also moved out of india and i feel the first thing that they will ask you in spite of the fact that i have an educational background related to it the first thing uh, that they ask you is whether you're cisa certified or not so definitely there's a global demand for it and uh, they would expect you to even if you're not the first thing that they would ask you after moving abroad is uh, where are your certs when are you planning to do your certs so like even i kept that goal for myself that within a span of one year i have to complete my cisa Hello everyone welcome to Sisa this much this is Aditya and today we have with us Sadaf who has recently qualified her Sisa so Sadaf first of all heartiest congratulations for passing one of the you know toughest id certifications so how does it feel passing the exam uh thank you uh, so much sir for 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 having me here and uh, yeah i mean it's a great relief i would say that's the first thing and a sense of achievement uh that i have cleared one of the most difficult exams uh, related to auditing yeah so uh, can you please introduce yourself your background your experience you know uh i'll be asking a lot of questions but before that you know i want you to you know introduce yourself and why did you choose cisa right so this is also one of the question i want to ask you like why cisa All right so uh, so coming uh, you know firstly to my background i am an engineer uh, in it and i after that i completed my mba in it so i have the techno managerial uh, you know educational background uh, along with that i have almost 8 years of experience uh, you know working in this area and this domain i usually do financial audits for it uh, primarily a part of one of the and uh, yeah i mean the 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 work that i do is pretty much aligned with uh, the cisa curriculum so it's um, it is uh, in line with that and why did i choose cisa because um, i think firstly since i come from that background i i kind of realized that you know you may be a part of one big audit and you might be doing a piece of work so to get a bigger picture and definitely something or the other comes to you for instance if you're doing uh, say a cyber audit maybe you also have to look at application controls so you need to have that uh, you know that that bigger picture and to know end to end and to know things completely so that is one reason and then uh, you know kind of to get that competitive advantage obviously uh, it will help you uh, you know in your uh, growth as far as your career is concerned so that is the reason why i chose cisa okay so thank you so much for that detailed introduction and in the detailed answer so you know uh, i would be asking you some different questions because normally i i ask about the journey aspects and everything uh, with a lot of people but i want to ask you about you know the opportunities you know which you feel for cisa holders you know abroad okay right so so definitely i mean i was in india uh, uh, for all all this while and last year i i also moved out of india and i feel the first thing that they will ask you in spite of the fact that i have an educational background related to it the first thing uh, that they ask you is whether you're cisa certified or not so definitely there's a global demand for it and uh, they would expect you to even if you're not the first thing that they would ask you after moving abroad is uh, where are your certs when are you planning to do your certs so like even i kept that goal for myself that within a span of one year i have to complete my cisa so it is a uh, pretty much in demand not just that if you look at the the job descriptions outside uh, uh, you would see they've mentioned they always mention that they uh, want people who are cisa certified and uh, it uh, will uh, for sure you know increase your chances of getting selected uh, many fold uh, you know no doubt in that so uh, it is definitely required it will give you a lot of uh, you know uh you know high professionalism uh, or or i mean you would adhere to those standards as well you will uh, you know since you you've prepared so much you cleared the exam that will help you a lot because the people who would be around you would most likely be cisa certified so you would be working with those people so i think in terms of global demand there is a very high demand uh, as far as cisa is concerned 
all right so you know let's say if 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 i'm a fresher right so and i have passed my cisa okay now maybe i'm a fresher uh, altogether or maybe you know i was having experience but in maybe financial audits not specifically it audit so again you know uh, i am not that much experienced when it comes to it audit so let's say if i pass cisa so you know uh, will i be getting a job okay so i mean if if someone wants to you know uh, apply in before so like is there opportunities for the freshers you know because when it comes to experienced people yeah i mean like uh, for them uh, things are you know much better i mean for even for freshers also nowadays things are better because the demand is there in the market as far as what i know but i i just want to know your perspective about you know as a fresher if someone applies so uh, even do they have like the, the opportunities which the experienced people have uh i mean uh, so there are many nuances to it depends on the the demand the role uh, that they're looking for uh but uh, definitely if you're cisa and you are a fresher and maybe you're not from that uh, you know domain uh it will definitely help you it will definitely increase your chances so if say uh, you know i'm recruiting or somebody is recruiting then definitely that you know we would definitely look at that aspect if if you have that certification and what exactly we we'll look in a fresher is that there should be some kind of background it should not be that you know the person is not associated with that job description or that the skill set that is required then it becomes you know a bit of a difficulty but if you have that background uh, you know go for it apply apply for uh, you know for that job and uh, the chances would increase a lot all right so so basically what what i'm trying to understand over here is that so what it, what you're trying to say is so at least they must have the basic understanding and the basic overall knowledge it's not that i mean you you guys like when you're hiring you, you do not expect them to be at expert level right so this is not this is not expectation and also the the trainings would be given right so it's not that from the day one onwards they'll be you know given the the the, the client right so uh, i i just wanted to know about you know uh, let's say if if uh, someone you know uh, as a fresher if if i if i enter in this particular field so sometimes people have this kind of uh, doubts in their mind that you know since they are not from the it background but they do have the the skills and the knowledge the understanding of the overall process but they have this fear right so since they are not from it background will they be able to justify their roles will they be will they be given a training so so you know and this is this is also one of the factors why why people from financial audits they are still very uh, you know hesitant to get into this it audits one of the reason is this that they still kind of feel that okay will i be able to justify my role that's that's one of the biggest factor which i which i see right in and doubts in their mind so as a since you you have also mentioned you are at a managerial level role and you also do lots of hirings so you know what all qualities or what all attributes you see in the uh you know uh, the, the the people who come for the interviews yeah so so definitely technical is one thing since you're moving from uh you know your your financial background to the it background uh definitely technical would be asked there would be questions you sh- you should be able to handle a situation there'll be scenario based questions uh you should basically understand that and uh, over and above that there would be uh you know you know further to understand your you know your attitude basically and uh, you know how you tackle a situation even if uh, you know you put into a new situation how will you handle that since you're not from that background so all those qualities would be uh, you know you know noted uh, during your interview and if you have some kind of educational background then definitely i would say go for it uh, don't hesitate uh, apply for your uh, you know uh, for, to to any audit firm uh if you would like to and uh, definitely give it a shot i think at at the starting level at the fresher level uh, even if you don't have an experience don't be hesitant uh you know in in applying all right and again you know one one more question i would like to like to ask you is about you know uh, the future demand about this particular field okay so i mean this is this is something which everyone knows but still you know they they try to compare this field with other fields okay especially the auditors okay i know 
most of the people you know who comes into this field are from either ca acca cpa background right and they have lots of options in 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 front of them they can go in financial audits internal audits ta- taxation finance lot of, lots of options in front of them and when they uh, think okay okay let me go to the it audit field so like do you think you know i'm not talking about the the uh, you know uh, like uh, uh, from the from the angle of you know the the mid journey or the you know uh, till the mid range level I, i'm talking about you know uh, in in the next coming two decades or three decades okay so what do you feel okay so the overall growth in this particular field and the overall demand in this field so will it be increasing further like like what's 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 your opinion on this yeah so uh, no, definitely uh, if we look at the demand uh, of this particular field and this particular role it's very niche so the number of people uh, who who should be able to you know cater to that demand is is lesser so to fulfill that definitely the demand is going to increase and there would be more job opportunities especially with the disruptive technologies that are that's going on uh, we have ai uh you know the desk cloud uh then there are new privacy laws and all i think definitely the demand is going to increase it's not going to reduce at all and usually you know you would you would see uh you you would see that uh x number of people are required uh, for a particular job but but we don't have people that is like very common that uh, there are the, the the people with that kind of expertise uh, are not available and that is why you know a lot of pressure is basically put on the existing people so for sure uh, uh, there is there is still a demand and in future it's going to increase because of these disruptive technologies uh, correct so you know since you have also mentioned about the ai i would i would like to add one more question to you that some people they say okay ai is going to take up my jobs okay especially for the it roles you know so uh, there was a trend going on that you know maybe very soon ai is going to but, but but what i feel sometimes is that when it comes to audit jobs or the grc roles it's not going to happen like that so what's your view like you know like do you st- do you feel that you know will ai be having any impact or as such will it create more jobs or 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 will it be like uh you know maybe in the future maybe in the five years down the line or, or one decade down the line things will be different yeah abhi absolutely immediately uh, it's not taking away our jobs uh we will get more work uh, the way i look at it and that's like going on right now uh, uh you know ai machine learning uh, we we get all of that to kind of audit so the the rpa uh, you know all all these things uh, would just increase the the need for somebody to audit the system maybe like in like you know two decades or so i would say uh, maybe if that job you know if they have a uh, 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 continuous you know some if they automated to that level that no manual, manual intervention is required that's a separate thing or or they do some kind of um, uh, uh, you know uh, ccm or something of that so that's a different thing but uh, most likely you know uh, in like i don't see it in the near future that it's going to take away the job of an auditor as of now correct it's it, the work is only getting increased yeah and right and since, since it, it's also advisory based rules right where where in your advice is needed like even yeah. if you have automated tools like even if we have deployed some tools which will help us know about you know any any unusual things any unusual event going on in our organizations but still for you know uh, you know analyzing those things for advising the management you still need some people right who can you know uh, take right. part in the active governance rule and so i don't think so yeah so as as what you have i i I, i agree with your answer that you know the the job demand is actually increasing only instead of you know decreasing so I, even you know i i don't even think so that you know think that that thing will happen in the near future or maybe like even for the next two or three decades yeah so uh any one last piece of advice you would like to give to the future sisa aspirants who are watching your video uh i think i mean not trying to intimidate anybody but prepare well for the exam uh a lot of paradigm shift is uh you know can be seen in audits and that is what is being reflected in the paper as well uh lots of questions related to the disruptive technologies would be there and i mean that was the case with me 
so prepare well and uh, follow uh, what uh, sir is you know asking you to follow just just do uh, that that uh, i mean complete that material is what i would say complete all the modules uh, the the work papers and mocks and yeah i think that that is important that's uh, overall would be my advice to everybody yeah. so thank you so much for sharing your entire journey or entire experience i am sure that you know this will this will this will definitely help lots of cisa aspirants so thank you so much once again and again uh, congratulations for qualifying cisa thank you sir thanks for your support and your guidance thank yeah, you th thank you